Hello and welcome to this learning video. Till now we have seen what is differential equation with constant coefficient and we have seen how to get the solution of such differential equations like sometimes we have to find out the complementary function and sometimes we have to find out the particular integrals depending on the problems okay now what exactly we are going to learn in this uh, learning dialogue is we are going to learn about differential equations with variable coefficient okay earlier what we have learned differential equation with constant coefficients we have learned and we have started the differential equation with variable coefficient in this learning video now whenever we talk about differential equation with variable coefficients there are two types of equations namely Cauchy's homogeneous linear equation and second one is the Legendre's, Legendre's linear equation so in this learning video we are going to discuss with the Cauchy's homogeneous linear equation so without wasting much time let us start with so we'll be having some equation of the type like this okay so the equation of the type x to the power n dn by dx n plus a1 x to the power n minus 1 dn minus 1 of y upon dx n minus 1 and likewise this is the equation now how i how to identify this is cauchy's homogeneous linear equation the best thing is this these are the things with the help of which you can identify this is a Cauchy's homogeneous linear differential equations because instead of constant now we will be having a variable okay and how to identify this is a problem of uh, Cauchy so roughly speaking you can think like this whatever is the coefficient that is there in the denominator or in the derivative okay so you can think like that as you can see this also is it so this is just the identification of this thing okay and as you know this d what is this d stands for this d stands for d dx right so what i am going to do is i am going to replace this d dx d dx by d so d2 x by dx square d2 dn by dxn dn okay so these are the uh, notations so x to the power n as it is dn of y plus a1 x to the power n minus 1 this would be dn minus 1 of y and so on say this is to be my equation 1 where what are these uh, a1 a2 a1 a2 a these are the constants and what is this x this x would be a function of x okay like sometimes uh, e to the power x into log x sometimes uh, x square into sine of log x something would be there in place of x okay now what what this equation is this equation one is nothing but the differential equation with variable coefficient so what is our objective here in this in this uh, our objective is to reduce the differential equation with variable coefficient into a differential equation with constant coefficient and we know how to solve the differential equation with constant coefficient right now to convert or to reduce the differential equation with constant uh, with variable coefficient into differential equation with constant we must be having some rule and that rule is nothing but the substitution okay so these are the substitution x is equal to e to the power z or in other words you can say z is equal to log x so what is dz by dx 1 by x into dx by dx so it is 1 by x okay now now when i am change when i am uh, shifting from x to z okay this dy by dx must change to dy by dz so for that we are just doing this uh, things x into dy by dx can be written as x into dy by dz into dz by dx okay this is possible with the help of derivative law then this x into dy by dx what is del z by dz by dx 1 by x so this 1 by x 1 by x get cancelled so this x dy by dx can be written as dy by dz and we will write this as we will write this as d1 of y where what this d1 represent this d1 represents this d1 represent this derivative with respect to z okay 
Now, likewise, you can go for x square d2y by dx square d1 into d1 minus 1 of y into x cube d3y by dx cube d1 into d1 minus 1 into d1 minus 2 into y and so on. So, these are the things that you need to remember. So, let us see the working rule of this first and then we'll take the example, okay? So we'll discuss now the working rule of this. Working rule, okay? So the very first thing that you need to do is steps. Step one. So step one is write down, write down the given equation. Write down the given, to be precise, write down the given differential equation. Okay, so that is the very first step of this. So you just need to write down the differential equation first and then make use of the substitution. Use substitutions use substitution x is equal to e to the power z or z is equal to log x this implies dz by dx is equal to 1 by x okay now after doing this substitution okay then there would be like x dy by dx is equal to d1 of y x square d2y by dx square is equal to d1 into d1 minus 1y x cube into d3y by dx cube is equal to d1 into d1 minus 1 into d1 minus 2y and so on depending on the problem you can write okay use the substitution to reduce to reduce the given differential equation given differential equation into constant coefficient into constant coefficients differential equation into constant coefficient so this completes your step number two now in this step three what you have to find out once you are given a differential equation you have to reduce that equation uh, first of all you have to write down the given equation then make use of the substitution to reduce the given differential equation with uh, uh, variable coefficient into a constant coefficient and once you get the differential equation with constant coefficient you can just find complementary function you know how to find out complementary function find out complementary function step number four find particular integral find particular integral and once you get the particular integral you can just write the given sorry the general solution is y is equal to cf plus pf so this completes simple five steps you have to remember and you can easily uh, remember these five steps in order to uh, get the working rule for the problem solving and one remark i would like to make here is that 
while writing CF and PI, do the resubstitution because the question would be given in terms of Y and X and you will be writing the answer in terms of Z and X. That would uh, not done. Okay, so you just write down the CF and PI in terms of Y and X only. So resubstitution. Remember. Don't forget to re-substitute. Okay, so that is the remark. So I hope this uh, video lecture is uh, gettable for you. And in the very next class, we are going to take the example on this Cauchy homogeneous linear differential equations with variable coefficients. So enjoy learning mathematics and thank you.